go. Gonna try one more time I'm crossing the line Risking being hurt once more I don't think I can take Another heartbreak Asking you to be sure And please Don't break Natalie Mary here and today I'm here to show you how I achieved this amazing bob look using RPG hair not RPG show but RPG hair this is a 360 unit so it can be worn up I'm however going to show you how I cut it to achieve this bob look I hope that you guys can tell that it kind of has a asymmetrical look. So it kind of comes, it has like a slanted effect at the bottom, which is awesome. When I received it, it came in length 18. So it was rather, it wasn't that long. It was all this length. So it all came down to the length that you see the longest layer on the side. I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this look. This unit is in 150% density, so it's very voluminous. I love the curl pattern. The body wave is giving me all kinds of life. This hair feels amazing. I didn't experience any shedding or anything, but of course, because I just cut it, there might be some strands and things that might come out. This is a 360 unit, so it can be put up. I showed you guys in a recent tutorial, which I will link above how you can actually put your 360 unit up, but I won't be showing that in this particular video, but I am gonna show you guys how I cut it and also how I use the stocking cap method. I've used that in the past. I will also link that video, but I've never used it with a straighter unit. So I'm loving the results. I didn't actually apply got to be glue too much in the front to achieve my baby hairs, but rather use some mousse. So I'm going to be showing you guys that, how I actually put the stocking cap on and got it to be pretty much glued to my head so that I look like, what is that guy? Um, What is his name? Oh my God, I used to love him. He used to have blonde hair. He had this, he was an R&B singer. Oh, what is his name? You guys will probably... Think of the name once you see me with the stocking cap on. I look like I have a bleached hair situation, which I think is kind of cute. So if I were to bleach my hair, I kind of know what that would look like. But anyhow, I think it'll come to me later. If it does, I'm going to put the name at the bottom so you guys can see who I was referring to. But I felt like I was kind of given those kind of vibes with the stocking cap. But nevertheless, I love this unit. I hope that you guys really enjoy this tutorial. We're going to get right into it. Okay, so to start this awesome process, you do need a wig cap. I typically use one that's my scalp color, but I didn't have one. So I'm going to use foundation in order to manipulate the cap so that it looks more like my scalp. It looks kind of crazy right now, but trust me, by the end, we're going to be looking great. So I'm using the black bottle first just to get the wig cap to stick to my head. So I'm drying it with the cool setting on my blow dryer. You can dry it as long as necessary until it's fully dry and then begin cutting the cap. And I use, I typically start near my ear first and then I just work my way around the parameter of the hairline. But whatever works for you, go for it. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to proceed to continue on with the next part of the process. After completing this process, add more gel in the areas where the cap might be sticking up. I'm using the got to be glue in the black bottle just to secure my cap down. But some people like to use it to secure their cap and to lay their wig. But I only do it to secure my cap. So this is what we're looking like. I think I'm definitely looking like Cisco, but um, you let me know in the comment section. So this is how the unit came. It came in the RPG hair box, came with an elastic band, wig cap, in a darker color brown, a paddle brush, 
and a key ring, which is pretty cool, an instructional guide. I love the body wave. It came pre-plucked, which is phenomenal. I always love when companies do that. It really helps to eliminate me from having to do so much work. And this time I actually decided not to bleach the knots. I'm showing you guys an, altern an alternative to that particular method. So you guys can just use liquid foundation or powder foundation. I think powder would be better, but I only have liquid. So I'm using an elastic band and I am gonna sew that onto the back. I don't actually show that, but I did cut off the comb at the top just so it's flatter and I sewed on the elastic band and I'm gonna put it on my head just to make sure everything fits and then we're gonna proceed on. <laughs> After doing that, I am going to cut the lace around the parameter of my hairline. I try to get as close as possible to my hairline, or to the hairline of the unit rather. Some people don't really care for that, but do what works for you. I like to get super close. I feel like it makes for a more natural look. After doing that, I noticed that the stocking cap was kind of sticking out because I do have a boxy hairline, but I'm going to cut that area so that it's back a little further and you don't actually see it. So now it's time to add the yellow box, box, <laughs> the yellow bottle of the Got To Be Glue. But actually I decided to cut the hair, so I'm gonna take it off and cut it, and then I'm gonna add the yellow bottle of the Got To Be Glue gel. And don't worry, it's actually not glue, it's just a really strong hold gel. So to start this process, I'm just finding where I want my part. After doing that, the side that I want the shortest, that's where I'm gonna begin cutting first. This is what the hair looks like. You can absolutely skip this process if you don't wanna cut your hair. I am using Remington clippers that I found at Walmart. I'm gonna begin cutting the side that I want the shortest. And I started longer first and then I cut more as I proceeded through the process. This is a super easy cut. Like it did not take me much time to cut it and I love how it turned out. You actually don't have to use clippers in order to achieve this cut, but I feel like it's the easiest and the quickest way to do so. But use whatever you have at home. You can absolutely use, just use scissors and just cut at a slant. It, that's just the easiest way for me to describe it. So after getting to this point, I combed through to make sure it was as straight as I wanted it to be. And then I cut a bit more. I am going to put it on my head to see if it's actually as short as I want on, I believe it's on the left side. No, 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 on the right side. It's your left, but my right. Um, so I decided to cut more and I don't show me putting it back on my head, but be sure to do that just so that you're getting it as short as you want on the shortest side. the cut I put it back on my head and I'm gonna use the yellow bottle of the got to be glue to actually secure it onto my head it's looking so good I love this unit it looks very natural even before doing the got to be glue method so don't feel as though you have to go this far but I like to go this far just so it's really tamed and secure and the wig lays really flat so I'm adding the yellow bottle of the got to be glue all over the front of my hairline and then I'm going to use the cool setting just as I did when I was securing the stocking cap. I'm going to place this all around the front and then I'm going to use the cool setting of my blow dryer to dry it. And you want to dry it until it gets tacky. So I just add enough and then begin using my blow dryer. Be sure to have some wipes near you because your hands are going to get really sticky. So you're just going to use your blow dryer and I believe it took me like maybe five minutes to get it dry and I just put it on the highest setting but making sure that it was cool. Do not use heat or you will melt the glue and it's not gonna be tacky or anything. Okay, so I'm touching to make sure it's tacky and now it's time for me to pull it forward. And I'm pulling it forward and ensuring that I'm covering all of the edges where the stocking cap is exposed and I'm using a rat tail comb to press down. <laughs> After the wig is secure and the placement is the way that I desire it, I begin working on my baby hairs. And these are very important because it helps to cover the line of demarcation of where the start of the lace is. You can do small baby hairs, you can do them really pronounced. I'm using my rat tail comb in order to guide the baby hair in the direction that I want them to be in. I am gonna use 
the gossipy glue that's pretty much left over on my hairline from when I put it down before actually pulling the wig forward. And then I also add mousse to my baby hairs to help lay them down. Okay, so I'm using Cream of Nature mousse in order to lay my baby hair and also to lay the flyaways and just the hair at the top down. This helps to add a bit of hold and shine, which I am such a fan of, especially for straighter textures. If there is any white residue that you notice, feel free to use aloe vera juice or you can just use water. That's what's in that bottle. I'm using a wipe to clean up any area where there's still some glue and then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in order to fill in my part and you really don't have to do this because the part looked really natural anyway but I wanted the part to stand out a bit more so I'm adding some concealer to the part but if you bleach a notch of course you won't have to do this but again this is an alternative to be bleaching the knots and making it look really natural <laughs> enjoyed it be sure to give this video a big thumbs up share with a friend and subscribe if you haven't already I'm still a novice to the whole 360 game but for it to be my third 360 unit I think we're kind of doing doing a good job so don't get leery of trying a 360 guys I am not a hairstylist or anything and I was able to apply this unit and get it to look very natural so you can absolutely do it too I hope that you guys enjoyed this video Leave your comments and feedback. I look forward to reading them all. Check the description box for the link to this particular unit. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.